Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. We're going to be recreating this look. This is the e-girl makeup tutorial. And if you are interested in learning how to put this whole thing together and look like an e-girl, well then you're in the right place. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. First things first, clip this hair back. All right, we are going to start this look with the Estee Lauder. This is the Futurist Aqua Brilliance. It is a watery glow primer. All right, so we're gonna do some story time because some comments that I've gotten want us to talk about ghost stories. And yes, my skin has broke out. It has been a very long and stressful week coming back here my air conditioning stopped working and then just other life stuff work stuff so my skin has broke out and i definitely pushed too much on that <laughs> so we are going to let that settle for just a moment and i'll get us set up with this ghost story today the two products that we are going to be using for the face this is the tear tear mask fit red cushion and this is in the shade 21 n and it's ivory the second product is the estee lauder futurist skin sealer and i'm in the shade 1c i'm actually going to be selling my my eyes and we're not going to use my normal base not for this look today so i don't know if there's anybody else who did this when they were kids but what we used to do was we would finish our schoolwork and in each grade there was a pod in the middle of all the classrooms. So the classrooms were set up in sort of a funky circular sort of thing. And in the middle was a pod where it was a storage closet for the teachers to put extra supplies, books, things of that nature. Well, we would finish our work before everybody else, this group of girls and I, and we would go and we would ask if we could read or and have quiet time in the pod area the little storage closet well we were definitely not reading we were doing seances yes you heard that right we were doing seances i was in fourth grade and fifth grade when we did this now i'm just gonna put a little right here and just to get rid of some of my discoloration that I have. So we would go in that closet and we would do seances. I don't know which one of us, it was definitely not me because my sisters did not teach me that, but we would go in and, <laughs> sorry, I laugh just telling the story because it's just hilarious to me. So we would go in and we would start doing seances. And we were trying to bring back Frank Sinatra and we swore that we brought him back because like weird stuff was just happening. And so we swore up and down that we brought F Frank Sinatra, we brought him back and whatever, are doing the seance. And now weird stuff really is happening. There's no way back in 19, this would have been 97, I do believe, 96 or 97. There was no cell phones. The internet had barely come out. It was just a different time. Like you can't fake some of the stuff that happened. So we are doing these seances and obviously we don't have candles and stuff. And I don't know what we used. I don't remember, but it was so interesting to me looking back now and thinking back now that what the heck were we doing? <laughs> what the heck? So I'm gonna use what I think I used this brush for it when I was at my parents' house. I think I used this brush. So I'm gonna use it again. So 
one of the girls goes home and she swears just weird stuff starts happening. Cabinets are opening, um, just odd stuff that's never happened in her house before, just so you guys can see a little better. She starts saying that weird stuff's happening, so we're like, okay, we need to have a sleepover at your house, so that way we can figure out what's going on. She's like, okay. So we go over and we do another sale. Why we kept doing them, I'll never know. So we go and we do one with a candle this time. The candle gets blown out and none of us were doing it because obviously you'd have to hear somebody go <gasps> to really like blow a candle out. So, because it's one of the ones in the jar. I'm gonna use a super fluffy brush and we're going to be using the Becca setting powder. This is the Hydra Mist. So just weird stuff would happen. Doors were opening, cabinets were opening in her house and just really unexplained things. Well then we decided, I don't know who got it. And now again, mind you, there was no Amazon at this time. And even Amazon in the nineties only, they only did books. All right, so I guess with this look, you're supposed to do, you're supposed to do a contour. So we're gonna go in with the Wayne Goss. This is his Radiance Boosting Face Palette. It is in the bronze glow and medium taupe. It's a bronzing and a contour palette. So I don't know where it came from, but we, well, we, one of my friends got a Ouija board and we decided to play with said Ouija board and again, continue to talk to Frank Sinatra. Why Frank Sinatra? I don't know. I think we were all going through this phase. Like in fourth grade at one point, we were all obsessed with disco music. In third grade, we were obsessed with Elvis. Um, yeah, just, just weird things like that. Then I'm going to use this because I guess we're supposed to really have a button nose for this look. So we're using the Ouija board and it is the creepiest thing. I will never ever use a Ouija board after this situation. I will never ever use it. And a lot of people say, no, it's a really great tool. No, you don't know who's on the other end. And uh, not only that, but a lot of people get so freaked out, they forget to say goodbye. And that's a big thing. So her dad comes home. And I will never forget this. Her dad comes home and he was so pissed at us for having this Ouija board. He's like, hell no, I don't want this in my house. It's literally what he said. So he was pissed. He put it in the fireplace in front of us and he burned it. I watched that thing burn. We did not get a chance to say goodbye. We woke up the next morning. That Ouija board was fully intact in a box on the couch. And a lot of people are gonna say, yeah, well, you could have gone to the store because they used to sell this at Toys R Us. Um, I will tell you right now, there was no going to Toys R Us past 10 o'clock at night. And that's how late it was because her dad did shift work. There was none of that. So how do you explain that? You don't. Fully intact. Freaked out. Never use it to this day. So then we continued to do seances because we just thought it was the most interesting thing in the entire world. Why? I don't know. We're fourth grade girls. Why do fourth grade girls, or just young girls in general, do the weird stuff that we do? We'll never know. So, which by the way, this is really concealed up. I'm very impressed. My mom, I don't know if I told this one or not, my mom would lose her keys a lot. Not her, but the ghost in our house would take them quite often. He would think that it was funny. We always called it a he. I still don't know why we called it a he. Or why we called it a he. But yeah, he loved to do that. He loved messing around. He loved just doing trickster kind of things. Well, in the house, can't get this up. Uh, in the house a lot, my mom would say that she could feel somebody sit down sit down on the bed like that feeling when somebody sits on the bed you can feel it go down you know she said she would feel that quite often 
and then she would always be funny and she'd tell whoever it was she's like listen you're more than welcome to share this bed with me but just don't steal the covers <laughs> all right so with this look there's a lot of pinks so you kind of like over pink things i don't want to put too much but i guess i can always god that's really pink <laughs> i guess you're supposed to put it up in here too there were just always weird things happening in the house like i think my mom said one time she did go in the kitchen and see all of the cabinets the cabinets and the drawers open but i can't confirm that one i'll have to ask her actually let's do this let's be really funny Hi, I'm doing a YouTube video, but I am telling a story about the ghost. Ah, which ghost? The one in the Hopewell house. Oh. So I need you to tell some of your stories. I already told the fire alarm, the uh, train, and them sitting on the bed. In the Virginia house. Um... I'm sitting here trying to figure it out. Oh, gosh. Let me think of some stories and I'll call you back. All right. Hopefully I'm still filming. Love you, babe. Love you, too. This is really pink. <laughs> it's kind of cute, though, but I look like I have a fever. So I'm trying to think more stories from that house. That house. I love that house. It was the cutest house. It was a, well, it still is. I'm, it is a Sears and Roebuck home, which that means that you could buy it out of a catalog back in the day. Sears sold, they're almost like kind of prefab, but you would buy it and it would come in parts and then they would put it together there on the property, so. Pretty interesting. Okay, I think that's perfect. So for brows, we are using the NYX in the shade Cool Ash Brown. Now we're going to use the P. Louise blush. I don't know what shade this is. It came in my advent calendar. And if you would like to go look at the unboxing that I did, we'll insert the little thing for you to go watch that video but this is one of them I don't know what shade this is I wish I did but it's a very pink color obviously <laughs> I guess more is better like the cutest little button button nose this is patchy as hell oh I do not like that and then I guess a little bit in here is how I've seen the girls doing it do I have any other pinky pinks well this is kind of pinky pink this is from the Wayne Goss this is Shimmer Pink and Sweetened. This is the Weightless Veil Blush Palette. I'm hoping this is pink, but it might not be pink enough. I'm trying to blend out that like really harsh line right there. Maybe I'll just use a little bit of this and that might even be too much. This is the shade So Cute from Moira. I'm probably going to have to recontour over this just a little bit. <laughs> it's very interesting seeing me like this. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of the bronzer. Let's do diffuse it down a little bit. Oh, that's a lot of blush. Next, we're going to go in with the KVD Beauty. This is the tattoo pencil liner. And this is in the shade Pearl Spa White. So that's really all I recall from that house. I really enjoyed that house. That was a fun house. That was a cool house, cute. We did not have central air conditioning. I will tell you that those summers were hot, hot, hot. Being in Virginia, oh my gosh, so just muggy and <laughs> humid it's coming off so easy onto 
everything else except for my skin with this makeup on. So that's super annoying because I'm supposed to put this, I think, I might just end up using my finger for something else because this ain't it. Oh yeah, that's much better using this powder. The neighbors across the street finally moved and the new neighbors are moving in. However, I'm not gonna go introduce myself looking like this. I will tell you that right now. I mean, it's almost like a pinky, it's like a pinky white. But I think I want more of a white white. So we're gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Icy Execution, but I'm only going to use the pearl shade. That house had a lot of fun memories. I had a lot of fun in the yard. Um, oh, I did have my imaginary best friend uh, was a dead person. My mom did tell me that. She's like, yeah, your imaginary friend was a ghost. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know how I feel about all of this. So I need more white. I don't know why this is like so hard to come out, but it's making me really mad. It's almost like it doesn't like the foundation or something. And I think I kicked it on too much. So we're gonna try to fix this by putting more product on. Cause why the hell not, right? But I feel like it's coming together though. I don't even know how to cross my eye. I feel like I'm supposed to be like, okay. So she did that. So now we need black eyeliner, which this could go really, really bad y'all. Like I'm prepared for it to go bad. I'm really nervous. <laughs> But this is like kind of cute. I mean, I would not wear this every day. I would not wear this to work. Like, like how am I supposed to put this? I'm supposed to use this, I think. Like, is this supposed to be? I don't know. Or maybe even like this way. And this is a note from the guy that did my little tub. Like the fix the thing on my tub. He put a little heart. It says, thanks for being really cool. Call me for anything. Glad to help. Okay. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, that wasn't terrible. It's not terrible. But that's like bleeding. Jesus. We're gonna try using this Stilla black liner. I need to like get really super close. I feel like I'm not close enough and I'm gonna <laughs> mess this up. <laughs> Right now for the challenge of laying it down. And I know you guys can't exactly see, but I'm trying to like get it the best as possible. Like I'm not gonna do a very big one I don't think. Okay, like why is this kind of cute? <laughs> oh. Okay, now we have to do the next side, which is probably gonna be a pain. Oh! I'm so freaking nervous. <laughs> like my cute little love note that I got from the bathtub guy. Okay, so we do the bottom. Okay. Oh, so next side. And I'm not telling stories right now because I'm just concentrating. I'm just so stressed out with this. Because I'm not good at wing liner, but apparently I killed it. I like this side better, but there's too much lid space. I mean, too much liner on my tiny little lid space. And that's not gonna budge. I'm almost stuck with it, but it's fine. I think I can finagle some stuff. Is this the Stilla one? Okay. No, the Stilla one always says waterproof and all that jazz, but she really not. Stilla is not my favorite when it comes to to this. She not my favorite. And then when you try to go over it, sometimes like it like pulls up on you. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mm, the lashes still look fabulous. See what I'm talking about? Like, you try to go over this Stila, like, eyeliner, and it, like, I'm gonna have to figure out what this girl used in this video. Because it looks good like this, but uh -uh, the minute you're up close to me, it looks like a big old mess. This is like the bad eye, apparently. It's a nice thing about a spoolie. You can clean up any mistake. I don't understand why this is like, this is like the worst eyeliner. There we go. Now I can maybe do this a little bit better. I need a better eyeliner, that's for sure. Okay, I think I need to put a little bit more like, but I don't want to put like freckles on because I already kind of have freckles. So look, now I need lips. So I was gonna do a little bit of a tint. That looks like it is, I don't know, like a pinky pink. Let's try this. Oh yeah, that's a good color. Got a little concentrate at the end there. But we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna put a lip gloss on. And yeah, but yeah, for sure I need like a new black eyeliner for sure. If you guys have recommendations, please put it in the comments below. So yeah, we used this Bay Free um in the shades apple and strawberry they're just little lip tints or even blush tints and then i'm going to go in with the Too faced lip injection this is in the shade pink punch okay we'll be right back all right guys so this is the final look of course, I have my e-girl little kitty headphones headset on and yeah, I'm loving this look. It's actually really cute when you put it together. Slowly but surely I saw it coming together. It was a little scary at some parts. I obviously do need to get a new eyeliner because that Stila one is just not it. That's definitely a miss. So I'm going to try this look another time later date just because I want to make sure that I can do a better job at doing my liner. It's not perfect, but I think I look cute. And you know what? I'm ready to play some video games tonight looking just like this. So I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm and everything like that. So give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me on all my socials, and check out another video. See you guys next time. Got brow pencil. Oh, God bless it. No, Lily, I'm filming a video. You would buy it and then it would come in parts. <laughs>